guys welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is Leia and welcome to my channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe 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 join the fam become a bestie all that good stuff if you have not already hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up share this video share this channel all that good stuff remember journey to 1k subs we finally received that email that we got that, you know, first, that first foot in the door of, you know, the monetization and all of that. And, you know, if you didn't know, when you reach 500 subs, 3,000 watch hours within 90 days. Is it 3,000 watch hours? I think so, yeah. 3,000 watch hours within 90 days. Um, then you get that early access into the YouTube Partner Program. So that's what happened. With that, you unlock the... You unlock the ability to receive revenue from subscriptions. You know, people pay monthly to subscribe to your channel for exclusive perks. You also are able to receive revenue from super thanks, like stickers, if people want to purchase stickers to say thank you. And, you know, all that good stuff. It's kind of like, kind of like, I guess, live on TikTok, how people be sending those things and whatever, whatever. So, yeah, and also shopping. If... If I have merch, then I'll be able to offer that and make money off of that. So, yeah. With the super thanks and all that, I'm seeing that it's only geared towards, like, if you go live or something. So, I am thinking about, you know, going live one day. Not sure when. And, you know, actually playing the game live with you guys. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys would be interested in that. So, yeah. Today, I'm bringing you guys a Love Island the Game. Um, I was going to jump on Love is Blind, but being as though I have to like, you know, you guys wanted me to recreate my character and then go back to where I left off. So I have to do all of that. So I haven't done any of that yet. So I'm like, why not just continue with Love Island? So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so yeah, Love Island. Previously on episode, what was it? Episode seven. Um, that's when we got the postcard, so we was all talking about the postcard, whatnot, whatnot. Yeah, from what I can remember, I think that's basically the gist of it, the postcard. We're nearing the final day of, um, Casa Moon soon going back to the villa. So, yeah, let's just jump straight on into it. Love Island the Game, Stick or Twist, episode 8. Let's go. Also, real quick, I do want to mention Parade is having a Black Friday sale from now until November 30th. So definitely go check out yourparade.com and go save some coins. It's like 40% off, I think. You could also use my code, Love Me Differently, to receive some more coins taken off. Um, so yeah, definitely go check out Parade. If you haven't already, I do have two Parade hauls. Check that out. Give you all the information about parade if you don't know about them yet and everything will be linked down in the description go save you some coins get you some sustainable bras underwears they do have boxers out for men they do have it's unisex they do have apparel like crew necks hoodies uh, sweatpants they have loungewear all of that so definitely go check out parade all right episode eight final shots Shoot your final shots to ensure you make it back to the villa. Welcome back to Love Island, where the Islanders are about to do the compatibility quiz. It's giving me flashbacks to my school days. Turns out I wasn't compatible with maths, chemistry, or English. I was compatible with lunch though. Shame it wasn't compatible with me. Never found out what was in that coleslaw. Let's see if the Islanders can make the grade or if they'll fail out of CASA. You and the girls are gathered around the mirrors getting ready for the compatibility quiz. I'm so ready for this quiz. Hope you girls have been studying. Is there still time to cram? I've never failed the quiz before and I'm not about to start now. How are you feeling about the quiz, Ashley? I'm going to ace it. I'm going to ace it. I'm super compatible with Alex. You've got this, Ashley. Yeah, it's clear that you and Alex have a connection. I'll be honest, I'm getting nervous. I think this quiz could have a huge impact on whether the boys stick or twist. You think? It absolutely will. 
but no matter what the questions are, we can still score some points with our looks. True, this is one of our last chances to turn their heads fully in our directions. So we better pull out all the stops. We look incredible. What are you gonna wear, Ashley? Why don't you wear something that'll go with Alex's outfit? I saw Alex is wearing that cute black shirt of his. You should wear something black to match. That way everyone can see how compatible you are. I feel like matching outfits does not necessarily mean you guys are compatible. But anyways, let's see what we got here. Being as though your girl got some gems, we can pick a nice pretty outfit. So let's see. These outfits are not it. Like I just, I don't know. Which black one they talking about? These outfits are ugly. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this one. Um, earring wise, let's see what we could put on. I don't think any of those go. Necklace wise, none of them go. Shoe wise, uh, ew, what's up with these shoes? I don't know, man. Maybe these ones. I'm gonna go with these ones. Mm, I think that's it. 29 gems. I think we're just gonna go with that. First of all, that's a lot of gems just for a dress and some shoes. I'm feeling this outfit instead. That look is defo compatible with you. Yeah, really cute outfit. Thanks, girls. All right, girls, let's go prove how compatible we are. You and the girls race down to meet the boys at the fire pit. The Islanders gather around the fire pit excited for the compatibility quiz. I'm ready to ace this quiz. If you listen as much as you talk, I'd say you'll do great, Bryson. I do listen, although I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Your phone pings. Now that I definitely heard. I got a text. Read it, Ashley. Islanders, it's time to see how well you really know each other. Bonnie is team. Bonnie is teamed with Raphael. Summer is teamed with Joyo. It's you and me, Raphael. Joyo and I are ready. You continue to read. Uma is teamed with Bryson. Ashley is teamed with Alex. Let's do this, Bryson. None of you stand a chance against me and Ashley. The girls move to stand next to their partners. Alex smiles as you take your place beside him. You look amazing. And I'm not just saying that because we match. We're looking pretty compatible. I think so too. I was hoping we'd be paired up. I think we've got a good shot at winning. Good to know. I'm having deja vu to the game we played in the villa before coming to Casa. Joyo gives Bryson a serious look and there's a moment of awkward tension. What game? Nothing, Never mind. Actually, it was nothing like this. Summer's phone pings and she reads the text aloud. The boys and girls would take turns answering questions about their quiz partners. Boys, you're up first. Hashtag quiz out of water, hashtag strength test. Bryson picks up a card and reads it aloud. Boys, what does your girls type on paper? I'd say Summer's type is someone muscular, like a big hunk. Exactly, I want a lumberjack. That's a tall order. Hopefully tall and muscular. I can tell Bonnie's looking for someone who can make her laugh. You're right, jokes are the way to my heart. Well, Uma's type is an ambitious gent. Spot on, I need someone who knows what they want in life. I think Ashley's type is a romantic. It's true, I love someone romantic and sweet. Boys are four for four. Setting the bar high, boys. Okay, girls, our turn. Summer picks up a card and reads it. Girls, what is the sweetest thing about your boy? I'ma say the sweetest thing? I'ma say he loves his mom. Alex loves his mom. He took a skydiving even though it terrified him. Even thinking about it, it still makes me sweat. I know my answer for this one. Bryson's in a book club. Wow, I didn't know you were a big reader. Well, I don't always finish the books, but I love the meetings. I'll have a go. Raphael's a film buff and is watching the top 100 films ever made. Just 40 more to go. Hopefully I'll have someone to watch them with when I get back. I've got this one in the bag. Joyo runs activities at a retirement home. That's so sweet. It's really rewarding. 
Ready for the next round, boys? Bring it on. Raphael reads out the next question. What's a girl's dream house? Bonnie would want to live in a penthouse. I'm so not a penthouse girl. I'd want to live in a little house by the ocean. On second thought, that makes sense with your job. No worries, Raphael. There are two more questions. I see Ashley in a townhouse in the city. Something very posh. Yes, that's my dream. Well, Bonnie may not want a penthouse, but I think Summer does. You better believe it. I want to be on top of the world. I'm not sure what Uma would like. Maybe a cabin? Like in the woods? I don't think so. I'd like a loft where I can live and run my business. That'd be an easy commute. Not too bad, boys. Uma reads the next question out. What gives your boy the ick? I'll kick us off. I can't believe I know this, but it's belly button fluff. It's true. But why? It's a long story. I'll have a go at this one. Raphael gets the ick if a girl has a messy room. I don't mind that. Mine's not exactly spotless. It's actually when girls are on their phones during a date. I'm focused on her and I want her to focus on me in return. Might as well declare me the winner now. Joyo gets the ick if a girl chews with her mouth open. I get grossed out just thinking about it. Open mouth chewing gives me the ick for sure. Ashley, what's Alex's ick? I'ma say, I'ma say emojis and text. Alex absolutely hates emojis and text. Actually, I like emojis. I've been known to use a few of my texts. Which one, eggplant? That's between me and my keyboard. We've gotta get back on track, boys. Alex reads the next question out to the group. What's your girl's dating history? I remember this from one of our chats. She dumped her last boyfriend. He was too much of a lad. Good listening, Bryson. Um, I'ma have to take a guess. Bonnie's just had situationships. Actually, I dated someone for nine months and the person before that was a year. Those are the opposite of a situationship. I'm a long-term kind of girl. Ashley and I haven't talked about this, so I'll have to go with my gut. I feel like Ashley has been having fun. Nothing serious. You're right, I've been having fun so far. I'm gonna say that Summer just got out of a long-term relationship. Ooh, not yet. It's been just fun for me so far. Nothing serious. Phew, this game is getting kind of intense. And now we're up again. You read out the next question. What is your boy passionate about? I'm gonna say animals. Alex is passionate about animals. He even builds kennels for his local animal shelter. Score one for Ashley. I'm super passionate about animals. Hope I can continue my streak. Joyo's passion is living large. He loves luxury. It's true, I'm passionate about living well. Only the best for me and my future girl. Bryson is passionate about partying. You know it. Life is short and I love to have a good time. So I always bring the party. I think this question is where I turn things around. Or not. Um, Raphael is passionate about restoring cars. Sorry, Bonnie. Driving is as technical as I get when it comes to cars. I leave repairs to the professionals. Last question, boys. Joyo reads out the boys' final question. What is your girl's dream date? Bonnie and I haven't chatted about this. Nope. So I'm not totally sure. A beach picnic? That sounds nice, but actually my dream date is a trip to a museum and then dinner. That's a pretty great date, if only I thought of it. I know this one, I remember this. Ashley's dream date is a picnic in the park. With a basket and a blanket, it'd be very cute. That's my dream date, it's just missing strawberries. I'll be sure to remember the strawberries. Summer's dream date is a night at the club. Exactly, let's have some cocktails and dance the night away. I think Uma is probably a little more low key and relaxing, like a couple's trip to the spa. That's absolutely my dream date. What's more romantic than a couple's massage? Okay girls, let's finish strong. 
Bonnie reads out the final question for the girls. Fill in the blank. My boy gets turned on when a girl... Well, I'm going to have to take another wild guess. Raphael gets turned on when a girl gives him a foot massage. Nope, foot massages aren't really my thing. My feet are kind of ticklish. Well, we tried, Raphael. Top marks for effort. Well, Joyo's turn on is defo when a girl nibbles on his ear. Absolutely not. Sorry, it's just that a girl nibbled too hard one time. I almost lost the load. My perfect score ruined. Bryson gets turned on when a girl jumps into his arms. Correct. That's a total turn on for me. I feel like I'm in a rom-com. That's cute. You're up, Ashley. What are you going for? I'm going to say puts her hands on his chest. Alex gets turned on when a girl puts her hands on his chest. You're spot on. That's a total turn on for me. Your phone pings and you read out the text. Islanders, the compatibility quiz is over. Well done, everyone. That was a blast. The couple with the most combined points is... Here we go. I got three out of four. It's a tie. Ashley and Alex and Uma and Bryson. I knew Bryson and I would do great. We're both super compatible couples. I enjoyed that. Same. All right, boys, it's girl chat time, which means it's my fave time, boys chat. The boys cheer and rush over to the day beds. Love their boy time, don't they? Thought I'd do even better on that quiz. I want it four out of four, maybe next time. It's certainly better than one out of four. Doesn't bother me though, I had a great time failing. Actually, I think that makes you and Raphael look the most compatible. Really? Yeah, it shows you can have fun together no matter what. I think you're into him. We'll see. Hopefully, I'll have more time to get to know him better. Well, I'm definitely feeling Joyo. Time to step up the graft again. What's your plan? I'm going to make him jealous so he knows he needs to pick me. Why don't you just tell him that you're interested? This is much better than being direct. You'll see. Summer walks over to Bryson. Hey, Bryson, how about a rematch? I'm in the mood for a little one-on-one. -on -one. I'm not one to turn down a challenge. Joyo breezes past Summer and Bryson and approaches you. And it looks like it's about to backfire. Hey Ashley, gotta be honest with you. I'd have done better on that quiz if I hadn't been so distracted by you. How did I distract you? With how great you look, I kept looking over at you and forgetting my answers. You notice Alex watching your combo with Joyo. I'm gonna shut him down. That's nice of you to say. I was fully focused on Alex during the quiz. He's the only one I was looking at. I hear you loud and clear. Alex is a lucky guy. You look over to see Alex smiling at you. Alex approaches you. We did brilliantly. We did brilliantly. <laughs> we did a brilliantly, Ashley. We smashed that quiz. How should we celebrate? With a kiss. We should celebrate with a kiss. Couldn't agree more. You place your hands on the back of Alex's neck and pull him in for a kiss. His lips press against yours and as he wraps his arms around you and pulls you close, he lifts you up and spins you around, the others cheer. He sets you down and you part. Alex grins at you. Alex, let's have a boys chat by the pool. Actually, I need to pull Ashley for a chat. I have something important to tell her. Let's go up to the terrace. Alex looks on anxiously as you and Joyo head up to the terrace. I literally just shut him down. Like, what more could we possibly have to talk about? You and Joyo sit down on the terrace. That quiz was very revealing. I think the results are a good hint at who's sticking and who's twisting. Agreed. It was telling. I agree. I think we saw who really knows each other and who really doesn't. Yeah, I think it opened up some boys' eyes. The ones who were thinking about sticking may be having second thoughts now. Which boys were thinking about twisting? No comment. Why did you boys get weird at the beginning of the quiz? There was something about a game in the villa. Yeah, we did a compatibility challenge back with the other girls. Alex was paired up with the step. There was a lot of drama. It actually affected all the couples. What happened? Hmm, should I say? 
Tell me. Tell me, I need to know what happened. Hope you're ready for some drama, Ashley. So, a few days after we got to the villa, we had a physical challenge. It was supposed to test each couple's communication skills. How'd Alex do? Alex and Estelle totally failed at it. Estelle didn't have the same step-by-step -step approach as Alex. I'll admit, I had fun winding them up. Do you think they're really compatible? I think you're more compatible with Alex than Estelle is. I mean, she started flirting with me after that disaster of a challenge. I don't think she's that committed to him. That's it? They failed the challenge? That's just the start of it. Everything got messy in the villa after the challenge drama. Bryson got his flirt on with Jerry in front of everyone. It felt like more than just banter to me and I got upset. Bryson even told Willow that he was hoping to get back with Jerry anyway. That explains the tension between you and Bryson. Then, at the next recoupling, I stuck with Jerry. Even though she had a connection with Bryson. That made things even worse between me and Bryson. Who did Jerry want to couple up with? She didn't really know. She was attracted to me but said she connected more with Bryson's banter and chat. So Raphael and Alex tried to join forces to settle the beef. How'd that go? Not great. Raphael talked about how coupling up should be special. And how he wanted to lock things down with Daphne. But the others accused Raphael of moving too fast. They said he must regret diving in so quickly. Everyone ended up feeling upset. That was a lot of drama. Can't say I didn't warn you. Hopefully that gives you some info to help your chances. Not everything between Alex and his girl is that solid. You hear the sounds of the girls heading up to the terrace. Say a platonic goodbye. Sounds like the girls are on their way up. It was nice chatting with you. Thanks for letting me steal you. It was nice to have a chill moment after that quiz. You hear the sounds of the girls heading up to the terrace. The girls burst onto the terrace, Summer eyes you and Joyo suspiciously. There you both are. Okay, Joyo, you've had Ashley for long enough. It's our turn. I know when I'm not wanted. I'll see you girls later. The girls take a seat with you. Now that we're all together, we can finally make a plan. That quiz was intense. Sure was. Feels like everything's up in the air ahead of Stick or Twist. I'm planning on chatting to all the boys. Hopefully I can secure a place in the villa. Bonnie has the right idea. We need to graft like we've never grafted before. Let's make these final chats count, girls. You and the girls rush off to find the boys. All right, time to chat. So, oh, we only got two people here. So let's get Bryson off the map first. Come join me, Ashley. I'm just having a reflective moment. Oh yeah? I was talking to the boys about my favorite moments of Casa. There was a pattern. What's that? They all involved you. Give me the list. Well, for starters, there was our first chat on the beanbags. I love talking about fashion with you. And you really got me to open up about my family and finding my person. Your soulmate? Exactly, my soulmate. Then there was our date. It just felt so fun and easy being with you. You brought the party to Casa for sure. And you know about bringing the party? Sure do, I think that's why we vibe. I feel like I can be myself and let you know the real me. I like the real Bryson. You've been so open. And I like how fun you are. Bryson gives you a sly smile. Days of chilling on these lounges have made me a bit indecisive, Ashley. So I'm kind of interested to know. If you were me at Stick or Twist, what would you do? Tell him you're into someone else. That's an interesting question, but one that shouldn't involve me. I'm feeling someone else. So you should either stick with Willow or twist with someone else. I appreciate the honesty, Ashley. I hope we both find what we're looking for. I know you have other people to chat to. Head off. I think I'll go. Really? This might be our last chat before stick or twist though. I know it's not me you're into right now, but you might want to give us another chance. Chill with me for a bit longer. Leave Bryson. I'm gonna go catch up with the others. Nice chatting with you. Okay, catch you later, Ashley. As you walk away, you turn back to see Bryson smiling at you. All right, and last is Alex. You join Alex in the gym where he's doing bicep curls. Hey, Alex. Hey, Ashley. 
I was hoping we'd get a chance to talk properly. I've been thinking about our time together in Casa. Pumping iron and reflecting, huh? Lifting in a shirt, interesting choice of gym to wear. <laughs> I can work out in anything, Ashley. I do some of my best thinking at the gym. There were no distractions, so I can see things clearly. And what do you see in me? I see someone I can have fun with. I was thinking back to our first chat on the terrace. There was a connection between us from the start. I felt so comfortable chatting to you about everything. My house, my nephews, my dating history. And it was nice to hear about your dream house. When are we breaking ground on that, by the way? A few more details to iron out before we start construction. Alex smiles, thinking back. Don't forget about our date. How could I? That was a great time. It was nice to share my passion for cooking and animals with you. I really liked what I've learned about you during our time in Casa. I like what I've learned about you. I like what I've learned about you too. You've been so open and I like how passionate you are. I do need to mention Estelle. I've been thinking about her a lot. Have you? Not in that way. I mean, I'm trying to figure out what to do. I feel a little silly asking this. Just ask. Okay, here goes. Why should I twist with you? Sell yourself. I can think of a very good reason. I'm gonna say I'm feeling a spark. Mm, I'm gonna say we could be long term. I think we'd be great together. I'm looking for something real. Someone who I could settle down with in the future. That's what I'm looking for too. Well, this has been a great chat like usual, Ashley. I suppose I should let you go though. I think I'm gonna stay and graft Alex some more. I'd like to stick around. I'd like that too. Thanks for neglecting your workout. You should join me. I'd rather just watch. I'll just watch you. You look on as Alex picks up a dumbbell and does triceps extensions. That was my form. Get close and help Alex. I can help you perfect it. Alex gives you a weary smile. I'd appreciate that. You move behind Alex and place your hands on his rippling bicep. You move your hands down to his shoulders and press them down, fixing his form. There you go. Alex does a few reps with ease. I should hire you as my trainer. Alex puts the weights down and looks deep into your eyes. Thanks for staying and exercising with me. Working out is one of the things that makes me happiest. And it was great to work out together. It's important to be able to do things like this together. It was really fun to share a workout. Alex gives you a flirty smile. Anything else we should work out, Ashley? Our lips. I think our lips could use a workout. You move close to Alex and put your arms around his neck, gazing into his eyes. You pull him close and gently press your lips against his. The kiss deepens and grows hungrier and more passionate. After a few moments, Alex slowly pulls away and grins at you. Wish every workout was that fun. I'm glad we got this time together, Ashley. It gave me a lot to think about. I don't mind being on your mind. I'll leave you to think about me. See you later, Ashley. Alex smiles as he watches you walk away to go to your next chat. You join the girls who are gathered by the daybeds. Ashley, there you are. We've been waiting for you. I'm desperate to know how everyone's grafting has gone so far. Mine's been spectacular. I've had two great chats. I felt nervous, but I've had some nice chats. I've been flirting hard, and I think it's working. How have your chats been, Ashley? One good, one bad. They've been mixed. One was good and one was not so good. Maybe he was having an off day. Maybe. Not every chat has to be magical. You just need one good chat with the right boy. I'm excited to talk to the other two boys. I'm excited for Sticker Twist to be over. There's just too much suspense. I think it's exciting. I'm feeling super confident. How are you feeling about it, Ashley? I'm ready for Sticker Twist. I'm so ready for Sticker Twist. I can't wait to get to the main villa. I need some of that confidence to rub off on me. I think we could all use Ashley's confidence. Yeah, you've got that right, Uma. I have enough confidence of my own. As much as I like talking to you girls, I'm ready to chat to the boys. And I have big plans for my chat with Alex. Sorry, Ashley, but you don't stand a chance against the graft I'm about to lay down.
uh-oh, it's feeling like September in Casa Amor. Because just when you think it's over, summer still has some hot plans. Can Ashley beat the summer heat wave? Find out next time on Love Island. All right, so that was Love Island the Game Sticker Twist Episode 8. So it was a very good episode. We was just grafting, you know. We also had the compatibility quiz. Um, me and Uma tied. So yeah, um, we got, what was it? Three out of four, I think. So yeah, it was good. Then we did some grafting, chatted to the boys. I chatted to Bryson and Alex. Jojo tried to chat with me, but I turned it down. So yeah, I spoke to Bryson and Alex. I turned down Bryson. And then I told Alex to twist with me. Um, made sure to spend some extra time with him. Kissed, and I'm glad I did because of what Summer said. Talking about, oh, my next chat with Alex is going to be good. Won't be able to resist it. Whatever, whatever. You could try Summer. It's not going to work. Alex already told you that he's not feeling you. He's feeling me. So, yeah. I'm, I'm fairly confident about Stick a Twist. I'm confident that Alex will twist with us. So... Yeah, I'm just ready for it to be over. I'm ready to get to the main villa. I'm ready to meet the main villa girls and continue on with this journey. I'm ready to get out of Casa more, to be honest with you. So, yeah. <laughs> Let me know down below how your journey's been. Which route did you take? Do you feel like I should have went with someone else or tried to give someone else a chance? Let's talk. I haven't spoken to you guys in a minute. Um, I miss you guys. I miss chatting with you guys, engaging. Don't forget to follow me on my socials to stay up to date. Um, everything will be linked down in the description. Don't forget, check out Parade. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.